This is so cool. I'll show you. Waking up to 100% is just the best, especially when you're not really sure if it's going to work out. Well, it worked. Have a great holiday. Okay. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Go right. Go right and straight. Okay. But it says. Yeah. You sure? You sure, right? Because it says. I have to go left this way. No left. Right. No left. Huh. But I think I have to go left. No, no. No. You take right. Okay. Straight. Ah, no, no. Yeah, I see now. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. To nine. To the ninety. And what is this road? Is not no good. No good. Uh, okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, okay goodbye. <laughs> Today is a national holiday. I have to. I have to be careful with with dates always because you know I'm posting these videos a little bit delayed. I have to. I can't catch up. But then you guys know it's delayed, and I don't want to spoil it for you. If you have watched the last video until the end, you saw me struggling with my little Charging Eve life hack. I'll explain you later what exactly it is all about. Uh, but I wanted to go to a mechanic today to help me out, but since it is a national holiday, I'm afraid they're all closed today. And then it's the weekend. Can't work on it until Monday. But that is all right. I'm not planning to go too far today. I'd rather check out the area a little bit more i'm not in a hurry i don't need to do 300 kilometers every day even though i'm always a little bit stressed about time because when you're on a visa and the clock is ticking then you always feel like i have to keep moving but you know marie always told me stop and smell the roses so i'm trying to do that a little bit more look at that those guys are working. So yeah, trying to do that a little bit now here. Definitely did in Cork. What a great area, man. Going down to Kerala now. Tonight I want to stop maybe in Vyanat, a place called Vyanat. It's just a hundred kilometers, but I mean, that could be plenty for today. Let's do it. Look at that, tans all made up, so cool. I drove through that town here in the dark last time. I bet I see a lot of motorcycles today, right? Is that like in Europe? Sundays and holidays are for motorcycling? Seems like everything is still open in the in the towns. So holidays here are a little bit uh, different than in Europe, where everything closes. They're so cold here, the area, man. It's like a little bit like riding through paradise. Look at that.
there it guys this is coffee this is coffee <laughs> they have this coffee plantations everywhere here cool I learned last night that they're about to harvest the coffee here I mean, it looks good to me, but I, I have no, I don't know how it works. I have no idea. I know it has to be dried and roasted, and uh, yeah, then we can buy it. But these these plantations here, they're, they're just everywhere. Like the last 20 kilometers, just driving through plantations. It's really good. And it's a nice spot to have a little break. So, um, before I do anything, I just wanted to explain to you guys the situation. So, my Type 2 charging cable, right? You know that? It can charge with three phases, and they're called L1, L2, L3. But here in India, with these charging stations that are most commonly here, the 7.3 kilowatt charging stations, I can only access one phase. And apparently that one phase only activates uh, one of my charging units in the bike. So, there's a hack. I might be able to switch out the L1 phase with the L3, and that way it should be possible for me with only one phase, activate two of my internal charging units, uh, which would mean I can charge with six kilowatt, which is uh, double and would obviously cut down my waiting time in half. So, that's what I'm trying to do. And I tried last night, but these this screws here, they're like so weird, triangle shaped, and I have nothing that fits in there, nothing. So um, yeah, I have to find somebody that can help me open this thing. And the next thing is, since all the charging stations already have cables on it, I have to modify the other end here of my one uh, to work as an adapter. That means I have to cut it off here, the plastic. I have to cut off the plastic in order for the other cable to reach these pins inside of here. So yeah, that is uh, the plan. I obviously need a saw for that. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for, for the guys that uh, sent me the, the tip and also literally a tutorial how to do it, which is so cool. Um, yeah, don't know why, why Zero didn't tell me officially how it works uh, because they obviously must know, right? Yeah, that would have been cool to know. That would have been even cool to know in advance. I'm, I'm sure there's adapters that would do that automatically. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't know about it. But now I do and now I'm trying to uh, get it sorted. That's the hack. That's all there is to it. I'm sure I can figure it out somehow. Yeah, I, I know that uh, wire load they would send me something in a heartbeat I'm pretty sure but I reckon it's way more stressful to have something shipped than to for me just uh, just modify it myself I should have they wanted to send me a type 2 cable and I was like nah I have already this one from China it was it works fine yeah so if I would have had theirs I probably would have been able to open it up myself uh, but it's going to be fine. If I see a cool shop, I will stop. If not, I will just go to my Airbnb, uh, check in and then ask around. I, fi I figure that is probably the best way, just to ask around before I go anywhere. Let's see. Let's do some more riding. Told you a lot of bikers. Ah, fantastic road. I'm just chilling today, just taking it easy, you know, just because you have a big bike doesn't mean you have to go hard all the time. I was racing last night a lot, that was so cool. It's 
just awesome. All these plantations here, they are everywhere. The whole area. It's out. This is how they dry the coffee. There's fields here. This is obviously fresh. And this is already dry. And then you and I can drink our coffee in the morning. Sweet. I'm in Kerala now, and boy, this road is like so smooth. <laughs> Boy, 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 boy. Hi, monkeys. Oh, man. This is awesome. Oh, these long turns. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta go hard. <laughs> Fuck! This is so cool! Well, I feel like I'm back home in Europe. That must be the best road I've had so far in India. Can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see! Fuck me, that is awesome! Even with the luggage, that is great! <laughs> Gotta be careful that there's a lot of wildlife here. Guys, there's, there are elephants. There are freaking elephants, wild elephants. Gee. This is so cool. I'll show you. Fuck! Uh, sorry, sorry. It's uh, checking out the elephant. This is so cool. I don't care for hold up traffic. Not really, though. Check this out! C 
so cool. So cool. Yeah, man. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> man, this is so cool. Wow. I just entered Kerala. Literally, see. And it's my first wild elephant I've seen ever. Wow. Oh, there's more. There's a no, it's a cow. That was a cow. A little bit too excited now. All right. Where were we? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I didn't see him. He didn't see me. Shit. Oh. Oh god. Up here somewhere on the side of the road to have some food and uh, yeah, look for an Airbnb somewhere here. It looks pretty good, it's pretty good food, I would say. Dokie. That was really good. I don't know if I ever get used to eating with my hands. That's just still so strange to me. And mostly because you can then only do one thing, which is eating. I'm like so bad I have to do like every two minutes something else. And simultaneously, you know, yeah, probably because I'm a millennial, I need my hands to be on the phone. <laughs> Can't mess them up with food. Anyways, I booked an Airbnb 30 minutes from here. Uh, it looks just awesome. I think it was, it was a bit more. I think like 25 euro, I think, or 30 euro. I'm looking forward to it. It looked very lovely. I'll stay here over the weekend. I might leave Sunday, might leave Monday. I don't know yet. Let's see. I want to do some exploring, maybe cruising around here a little bit in the area tomorrow. That would be lovely. See what's happening. Hopefully find some sort of mechanic or workshop to get the cable sorted. I'm pretty happy with the world. <laughs> These buses. <laughs> the pollution! Ah, can't overtake. Anyways, I also have to release a video tonight. People forget that. Oh, f f me. People forget that that is also, you know, part of my job. Releasing videos and all. It all takes time. It's all like. I'm, is that okay now? Yeah. yeah. 
it's all part of my job every day and I wish really that a day would have like 30 hours that would be lovely it's so interesting that now all the new Indian viewers they're like I'm reading these comments all the time yeah you should you should post every day and your video should be an hour I'm like are you out of your bloody mind like how am I even you know it takes me five hours to make like a 20 minute video or 25 minute video I, I, I don't know what people think that is here. I could just go, I just, I'm, soon I'll just go live and just, just film 10 hour riding and people probably will watch it, I don't know. Gee, oh man, this area. Kerala is just a, I feel like Kerala is like a whole different level of awesome and everybody said that everybody told me go to Kerala it's awesome and I just got here and it is awesome and I just got here I'm not even like what 50 kilometers in not even so better be subscribed for the next videos I'm looking forward to them <laughs> also, this is like a whole different language again, I think. And a lot of people are Christians here. Like I see churches everywhere. I just saw some nuns. So yeah, it's like a whole different world again. Which is like with every state in India it's like so different all the time. Different language. Different different nature, different houses, different country. It's just so massive and it's just so full of different things it just blows your mind it just blows your mind yeah range is super good today <laughs> 63 percent after 112 kilometers but you really this road here it's it's like you can't go fast at all and all these little villages and it's just impossible hence the great range it's also good because there's no charging stations around here so much. Like, there's a few, there's a few. Uh, oh, mostly at resorts again. We know that can be a little bit of a mission sometimes. I might look like sometimes it's like really far out in the nature, but there's all these little villages like everywhere, like every few hundred meters. There comes a little village again, which is pretty cool. I mean, because if you want to get stuff, and also the good thing is this uh, internet. 4G is here. That's good. I haven't had that in the uh, in the wildlife area where where the elephants were. There was no internet. I couldn't have stayed there. Obviously. <laughs> Uh, I think that's the road to my Airbnb. All right. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is just cool. I was thinking to buy some bananas, but I would have buy bananas when they just grow here at the Airbnb. Oh. This is so good. It's pretty new. Hello. Hi. Hi. Right. Yeah. How are you doing, Marcus? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, can I park here somewhere? Or, uh, I'll just I'll just park it here for now. This is cool here. It's a cool place. 
Yeah, yeah, I like it. Wow. So good. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Sush Susha. Uh, no, this no. is my wife. Ah, it's your wife. All right. Sorry. What's, what's your name? My name is Vichu. Vichu. Yeah. Vichu. Mark. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you very much. That's so kind. Oh, this is so cool, the area. I wonder where wow. are you This is such a nice Airbnb. Bathroom. Ah, oh, with the shower. This is such a cool Airbnb. And if I heard them right, I am the first guest, I believe. It's pretty new. And it's just, you get out of here. And then you have this. Look at that. It's a little pond there. Eve there. And the best part is they're also making their own coffee here. They have the plants here and they make their own coffee. And I get one now. Just a normal coffee. Yeah. Thank you. 